It comes differently for us all, I, I believe. For me, it's just so natural. Um, I, I see them physically as I see you, but I know people in the world, um, they do experience a lot of people at different times of seeing an angel or something that is unexplainable to them. You know, I remember meeting a woman there a while ago and she was telling me she did see an angel when she was 11 years of age. And she said she always remembers it because she was in a car crash. And she saw this beautiful beam of light and she could see wings and a form, you know, a human form. And she said, this angel, she said, was in front of the car, holding the car. Even though it crashed, the angel was shielding it. You know, she said she got hurt, but nobody got killed. And I think she's about 30 odd years of age now. You know, so people do experience seeing angels in, in that way, you know, at different times. Some people would say to me, um, they would just feel all tingly. You know, it depends on what way your angel communicates with you. And I suppose maybe that's something you could ask yourselves. You know, what way does it happen for you? Do you hear a voice in your head saying to you, they're great teachers. I suppose maybe you just ask your guardian angel to allow some teachers in. And I know some of you are very good at it already because that's what I've been told. But they're such great teachers. You know, you, you might be sitting in a chair or you're in a pub or you're at home or whatever, and you're being told, you know, move that glass in. I always use something on the table here just as an example. But most of the time, we look at that glass and we say, that couldn't be anything to do with the angels. But it is, it's that simple. They're actually teaching you to respond. So you should actually reach out and move it in. You know, so that another time, they sometimes they may, may say to people, you know, you, you get a strong feeling, you're sitting in your car, and um, maybe you have a gate to open, um, but you're, you, you get the feeling you're to stop, you're to wait for a few seconds, or you're to go back into the house, and you see the keys there in the car, and you see you've forgotten nothing, your bag is there, and you're saying, what on earth is going on? I would say go back into the house, because sometimes, you know, it can be them just teaching you, but then again, it can be for a bigger reason to stop something happening. And something could happen down the road because you're on it at a particular time. And because you're not on it, it never happens. Like I'd have people, you know, they'd say to me, well, I responded to that, but nothing happened. Thanks to God, nothing happened. They didn't realize that more than likely they were saved from something. You know, a car crash down the road, they would have been involved in it. And then I'd hear from people who would say, yes, something did happen down the road. Or a young child, you know, um, very small children, you have to remember they have just come from heaven. And they will turn around to a parent and say, you know, Granda was telling me, you know, mom, you, you shouldn't be doing such and such, or, or you should go and buy that, you know. And I would say to you, don't question the child, but acknowledge within yourself the message that you've been given, you know, because if you question the child, the child then will feel something is wrong and will close down more. You know, young children give us loads and loads of messages to parents. Um, but a lot of the time they don't listen.